Now the rods are ready for pistons. If your pistons were reusable, they'll need to be cleaned. The machine shop could mask off the skirts with tape and blast off the carbon deposits. Doing this by hand pretty much just sucks. We recommend you have the machine shop clean any of your parts in a blast cabinet, especially if you have reusable pistons. The second best thing to do is just get an engine kit that'll be complete with a new set of pistons and everything else you'll need for down the line. All of our pistons need to be fit into their connecting rods now. The pin bores are lubed up and the pins are set in one side ready to be pushed through. The piston and pin are set in a fixture and a rod is set in a rod heater. With semi-floating piston pins at room temperature, the small end of the rod is too tight for the piston pin to pass through, but when the end of the rod is heated up, the opening will expand. Then the rod is held in place and the pin can pass through the temporarily larger opening in the rod. This stopper on the back of the piston holding fixture makes sure that the piston pin stops in the right position. This is not a simple procedure. The rod has to be facing the right way on half of the pistons and the other way on the other half. And if the pins not pass through quick enough, the rod could cool just a bit and the pin would get pinched too early and then they'd have to go back and press the pin out and try again. Just before they were fit to the rods, the pistons were measured so that the final bore size could be determined. 